Howdy, hello there, folks. I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs, and I'm here to show you a little bit about NFC tags. What are they, and how do they work? Let's take a look. NFC stands for Near Field Communication, and what we're looking at right now is an NFC tag. Now, these are available on the internet on Amazon in packs of five for about 10 bucks. I'm going to show you exactly what they do and how you can utilize them on your Android or Windows phone. For iOS users, we're kind of SOL because there is no NFC in the current iOS device lineup. Let's hope that's on the checklist for the iPhone 6. Okay, so right now we're on the home screen of my HTC One M8. The HTC One is equipped with an NFC chip. Now, what I can do is I can place my phone against an NFC tag at any time, and it will complete the action that I've programmed the tag to complete. The tags are programmable. They're fully programmable, and, and they can be programmed any number of times until we choose to lock the function of an NFC tag. You don't really need to lock them, and I'll show you a little bit about that in a couple of minutes. Rather, the only reason you would lock a tag is if, for example, you were a restaurant and you wanted to set up an NFC tag in your restaurant to have an automatic check into Foursquare or something along the lines, for example. Now, let's go into the app, which I have downloaded from the uh, Android Marketplace, uh, excuse me, the Play Store. <laughs> there are several. Um, there's not one in specific that's better than another, but I prefer this one. It's called NFC Tools Pro. It runs about two or three dollars if I if I'm not mistaken in the in the Play Store. I don't really remember. But by touching a tag, we receive uh, various pieces of information. The type of tag that it is. The tag types come in in well several different types. And this is the classic, the MyFair Classic 1K version. So these as it states, hold one kilobyte of information, which doesn't sound like much, but you can put in a really long list of commands considering that this stuff is just pure text. So it talks about the technologies available. Each uh, NFC tag has its serial number, which allows you to identify uh, and differentiate several tags. There's a data format that is used. Uh, there's the size. So there's about 716 bytes available to my use, and I'm using 71 on that tag right now with the current action. It is writable, and it can be made read-only, or say we, we can uh, lock it up if we choose. Now, what we can do is we can choose to write any type of command or any record to this NFC chip. There are several in this list, and there's a lot more in a list that I'm going to show you. We can add a text record um, to have a piece of uh, text information pop up. We can link it to a URL. That's one I have uh, on this furthest tag right here. I read theverge.com a lot. And so when I touch this against that tag, it automatically opens for me theverge.com, which is great because I don't have to go to my uh, bookmark bar. I don't have to open the browser. I just touch it and I'm there, which is really pretty awesome. You can choose a, a custom URL. You can do an application. Um, so you can open an app specifically. I've set that up for one of my tags to open up my Twitter client, which I also use quite often. Uh, you can add mail records, choose to mail someone, uh, email someone. Uh, you can choose the subject line as well as the, the message uh, body. You can add information for a new contact, make a phone call, send an SMS, add your location, um, add an address to Google Maps, toggle the Bluetooth on and off, and uh, you can also go to this task button, which is only available in the pro version, which allows you to do a lot more. You can toggle the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, you can turn mobile data on and off. You can choose the Wi-Fi network that you join. You can change the sound profile, toggle between vibrate or silent mode and an activated mode. You can change the volume of the ringtone, the volume of the alarms, the brightness of the screen, uh, the display sleep, how long the delay is before it sleeps. There's an auto rotate, there's a notification light, alarm, timer. The, the list is truly endless. You can even do text to speech. There's a lot of really cool stuff. And uh, well, I've set it up to what I would most likely use. Um, but you can do stuff really advanced. I mean, for example, uh, I'm going to put uh, the Snazzy Labs office space on Foursquare and on Google Maps here in a couple of days. And so I can have the ability to touch my tag against the phone and have it automatically log me in to Foursquare, which would be awesome because that's something that uh, I really need to do. I'm not a big Foursquare user because I find it tedious. But if there was an easy way to touch my phone against a tag and automatically be checked into a place would be awesome. So as you guys can see, there really is the ability to do whatever you want. Now, to be able to write to a tag, we have to erase the current contents. So I, it just says approach an NFC tag. We're going to do this middle one for the sake of it. 
and you can see that the erase is completed. Sometimes it takes a couple of chances, just keep trying until you get it. I got it on the first time, that was really nice. But I can go into the tasks here, and let's say I want to add a task. Let's uh, do the following. Let's um, toggle my Wi-Fi. So right now my Wi-Fi is not turned on. We'll toggle it so that it can be turned on. You can choose to disable it or enable it, or you can just choose toggle. Obviously I can see the Wi-Fi is off, so I'm gonna toggle it. Um, let's add another task. So this is like a list of commands that will execute in the minute that my phone touches the, the device. I can choose to turn my mobile data off, which would be cool because if I'm on Wi-Fi, I just wanna make sure that perhaps when I'm around the shop, I, I get disconnected from the Wi-Fi. I don't wanna switch over to mobile data because I don't wanna use all my uh, megabytes without realizing that I'm doing so. Let's add another task. I can change my volume uh, of the alarms. Let's do the volume of my ringtone. I usually leave my phone on vibrate, but let's say I get to the shop and I wanna turn it all the way up just so I can hear if I'm doing something. We can add another task. So you can see the, the set list is really quite endless. Um, I can turn the notification light on and off. Um, let's have, you can run a tool like a flashlight, which would be pretty cool. But let's do one more. For example, let's say I like to use my, my media um, so I can start playing music immediately, which will be pretty cool. So that's like I, I get to the shop, I want to start working now, let's do it. Um, and we can choose to compile this task by writing to an NFC tag. I just have to touch it against the tag and it writes. So anywhere from my Android system, I can be in another app, I can be uh, in my Twitter app, I can be in my, in my text message app, I can be anywhere at all and still use the commands which have been presented. So let's, for example, hop into my Twitter. Uh, let's say I'm, I'm, I'm reading my Twitter uh, timeline and I want to put into effect this, well, this thing that I've just compiled. So I touch the tag against uh, the phone and you can see it's changed my ringtone all the way up. It has toggled my Wi-Fi on and uh, with time, I believe, it will turn off my cellular data. I'm not sure it did so. And it did. It turned it off. It's just taking a little while to respond, I suppose. Um, and right here you can see that I did indeed launch into the music application. Now I actually don't have any music loaded onto my uh, device, but I, I could do so. Or let's, for example, I always use Mog. That's the streaming service that I love, which will sadly be shut down in two days because Beats Music has been acquired by Apple. So that's a, just a cry and shame. But let's go back here. And rather than controlling the media, let's go to add a task and open an application in specific. I believe that was right here. I'm not, yeah, launch an app. All right. So let's go to the list, find Mog. There it is. I can then press OK and compile the task and write it to the NFC tag. So this is written and it doesn't just apply to my device. It can be to whatever NFC device that touches it, which is really rather cool. So I can be here on the home screen, wherever I touch it against the tag. It turns on my ringtone volume. It cycles my Wi-Fi. And uh, it says that Mog is unavailable because it just turned my Wi-Fi off and my cellular data is off. Um, so we could go in and, and program this task a little bit better just to give you a really perfect illustration. Rather than toggle the, the mobile data, um, well, we can choose to disable it, but we're gonna choose to enable the Wi-Fi rather than just toggle it because maybe it's already on, right? So let's, oh, we didn't write it. I gotta write that to the tag which by the way, all of those commands and actions were 83 bytes. So as you can see on a, on a NFC tag that has 800 some odd bytes to your access, 83 is really quite minute. So you can have a really long list of actions. Um, let's touch it. And there we go. Um, I'm now connected to the Wi-Fi. So I can go online and then I can start Mog as I normally would and, and play my music. So that's really what is so cool about NFC tags. You can literally do anything from the touch of a button. I can go and open The Verge. I can go and toggle my Wi-Fi. Um, the list is, is truly limitless. Um, are they practical? Well, not really. Are they necessary? Uh, definitely not. But are they cool? Yeah, they are. I really like them. 
this is Quinn of Snazzy Labs. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. I put a link in the description below to pick up your own NFC tags if that's something that interests you. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.